Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a highly requested video for you guys all about my tape-in hair extensions. I'm really excited to let you guys know that I've partnered up with my friends at Sally Beauty for today's video. As most of you know, I recently cut off all of the last of my bleached hair and so I've been wearing their tape-in since about last April. So I thought since we're nearing the holiday season, I would show you guys how to do a full glam look. So to go from kind of short, boring doll hair to this perfect holiday glam. So let's hop right into the video. So the tape ins that I'm going to be using today are by Satin Strands. These are 20 inches long and they are in the color Monaco. They're 100% Remy Human Hair, meaning you can style them, you can color them, all of that good stuff. I actually use three packages to do my entire head. Now the way tape and extensions work is you want to create a sandwich. So a sandwich is made up of two actual tape in hair extensions. You're basically going to be sandwiching a piece of your hair in between these. You can see that they have adhesive backing and that's what we use to attach them. That creates a weft. So I'm starting off by just sectioning the bottom half of my hair close to the nape of the neck. You wanna leave a little bit of space in case you were to wear your hair up or something like that. I actually don't wear my hair up with tape so it's not that big of a deal for me. Then I'm going in with this tool structure tail comb. This makes applying the hair extensions a breeze but I also use it to get a perfect line when sectioning off my hair. So once we have the perfect sectioned off hair line, I'm taking a little section of hair, no bigger than what the tape-in extension is. Then we're going to go in and take off the adhesive backing. Now this is where I, the tail comb comes into play. So I use it because it makes applying the tape-ins a lot easier, you don't have to worry about holding on to it. So I just kind of stick it to that bottom little edge. You, you barely want it stuck on really. And then you're gonna take that little piece of hair that you have, you're gonna put this under it. I leave a little bit of space so that you know it's able to move with with your hair um, and then I'm just going to place that on top of it I use my pinky finger to press it down and then I'll pull it off of the tail comb like such then you're gonna want to go in and take your other sandwich and you're gonna want to place it right on top of it make sure it's lined up perfectly it helps if you have mirrors on like every side of you because you really need to be able to see that everything is on straight and uh, there we have it there's our wet then I'm going in with my Chi Elite flat iron. This thing heats up so quickly, leaves my hair really smooth, but we're gonna be using it just to make sure that the tape-ins are, you know, a little bit melted on so that they're stuck together. You just need to do a quick little tap tap and then we're all good. So that's the first layer done. I'm gonna section off a little bit more and we're gonna do another layer. I only do one at the nape of my neck, so I'm just going ahead and doing the exact same steps that we did before putting the first sandwich under, um, attaching it, and then putting the second one on top. This is gonna be repetitive throughout the whole video, but that's basically the technique here. So then I do a two weft layer here, and then I'm gonna let down a little bit more hair, and then we're gonna do a three weft layer here. Um, it depends on the size of your head, like you might be able to fit four here already, but I can still really only do three. The next layer though, I actually go ahead and do four wefts instead. And I know some people will do two rows of four, but my cowlick is very far down. So moving to the side, I've just added this one in here. Um, this kind of just fills in that little gap between the side of your head and the back of your head. So I would really suggest doing that there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the side doing the same method, of course, taking a little piece of hair, putting the sandwich at the bottom, and then we're gonna put the sandwich on top. Then I just kind of go ahead and um, apply, I think I do like four more at the side of my head, and I just stagger them because you see right here that there's like a little spot there. So we're just gonna stagger them to make sure that everything is really full and really even. Once you're done one side of your head, you can go ahead and do this again on the other. This is what it looks like once all the tape-ins are applied. Now, because my hair is so short and I have such short bangs, I want to shear the bangs to make them look really blended. I'm using these Cricut Shear Expressions these are the Hey Rosy shears. It's a super easy way to point cut your hair to make it look more natural. I use these to basically blend my extensions seamlessly with my hair. Once the front bangs are blended, I'm going in with my Argan Oil. This stuff keeps my hair super smooth and it really helps tame all of those flyaways. I went ahead and did a full face of makeup in between this, so don't be alarmed. Um, this is my holiday glam look. So I'm just taming those flyaways up top and then I'm going in with this Beyond the Zone Beachhead Tropical Texture. So texture sprays are really important to me because the tape-ins seem to be really 
slippery and they don't hold curl as well so adding a texture spray helps a lot then I'm following that up with the beyond the zone turn up the heat um, and this is just a heat protectant spray honestly it's the most amazing spray you will ever find it smells so good it smells like freezies then I'm going ahead and curling my hair the hair curler I'm using is no longer available but if you look in my description box down below there's a link to some other really great picks available online at Sally Beauty I don't section off my hair because my hair is so short because I don't actually want to curl the top layers because then it's very easy to see that I have tape and extensions once I've done the curls I would just work my way forward and I'm using the Sebastian shaper plus hairspray my hairdresser made me fall in love with this stuff it gives me the perfect amount of hold it's like my all-time favorite right now once you're done one side you can move on to the other and once everything is dry I'm going in with my tangled teaser this is my be-all end-all of brushes it's the only brush that I'll ever use for the rest of my life I seriously love this thing and I'm just brushing out my curls and yeah this is my final holiday glam look I think that it just like gives you the perfect beautiful hair especially if you have short hair it really is such a difference such a dramatic change for the holidays I think it's so perfect a lot of people also ask me what I use to remove the tapins and I found this at Sally's it's basically a wax residue remover oil and this is what I use I put it in a little spray bottle I'll spray the tapes and um, yeah that's what I use to remove them thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below and I will help you as best as I can and thank you again to my friends at Sally Beauty for partnering with me on this video. It was such a blast to create. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.